The cash had the cab driver's prints on it. The blood traces on the knife are being tested. Outrageous. I'm hardly a wordsmith, but I think that describes what's happening here as well as any word could. It was perfectly legal. Back when we were paying taxes to King George. Legal. You're supposed to get a warrant before you run your fingers through someone's personal items in his personal office. Not when one of the office occupants gives us permission to conduct the search. Behind my client's books? His office mate had free access to the books. First off, he has an expectation of privacy. Second, anything Stop. that's found... I'll take it to you, Mr. McCoy. No, you won't. Shut up! I'll confess to whatever you want me to confess to. I have only one condition. I'm listening. I want the death penalty. I want you to have me killed. I don't know who was more shocked, Simpkins or me. Yep, what fun is it hitting someone who won't hit back? I never really thought of this as an exercise in fun, Arthur. Brace yourself for Professor Simkus's motions. Motion to quash the agreed upon sentence. On the grounds that Warner isn't competent to negotiate on his own behalf. He wants to die, so he's got to be crazy. I've arranged for Skoda to examine him. And you say this isn't fun. Here's a new one for you. I am not crazy. Not everyone I talk to is crazy. But I bet they all claim to be. Not everyone is as forthcoming as you. So show me where to sign and we can call this off. The state takes this very seriously, Clay. It won't execute someone with a mental defect. They can't kill a crazy person, and a person who wants to die must be crazy. And around and around we go. Tell me about prison. That'll make you crazy. How so? Very clever, Doctor. If I consider a life in prison worse than no life at all, then my desire to avoid going back behind bars is actually an indication of my sanity. I just asked a question. Victor Hugo compared prison to church, the deprivation, the, the, the regulation, the conformity. And you agree? Prison is the anti-church. A church lifts the human consciousness, elevating man beyond himself to a union with his God, but prison forces him down, flesh against concrete. It crushes him deeper into himself. Writers like Hugo paint these grand metaphors without having the slightest reality check. Sure, they heard about what goes on in prison, but they never really know. A life sentence. Think about what that means, doctor. Every minute of every day forever. Imagining death's a lot easier now. <laughs>